Bailey, I'll tell you, it was a very short night for the Purdue campaign and supporters. And by the size of this ballroom, one of the smallest ballrooms I have seen in more than two decades of covering politics, maybe the writing was on the wall. It was not a very good night, and they knew going in it was going to be a very difficult challenge to try to take out the incumbent governor, the governor of our state, obviously, Kemp, and they just didn't make it. They didn't even get close, and like I said, the evening was over before it started. One of the things that of course, David Perdue mentioned when he took the stage before his supporters was that he was trying to get his supporters to get behind, as he's going to do, getting behind Governor Kemp to move forward and try to keep the governor's office in Kemp's hands. We are going to get behind our governor. Bonnie, I committed to him right now what Jack Kingston committed to me back in 2014, and that is there's nothing they can ask me to do that I won't do. We're going to do everything we can to make damn sure Stacey Abrams doesn't take over the state and let the woke mob take over our beloved children and grandchildren. So you hear right there the race is over for David Perdue and his attempt to try to win the governorship, but he is completely behind Kemp now, hoping his supporters will do that. We spoke with a few that are not sure about it at this time, but hope, hopefully they will rally, as he says, behind the incumbent to try to keep the Republican in the governor's office. That's it for now. We're live at the Sheridan Suites in Cobb County tonight. Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Governor Kemp will now face Stacey Abrams in the general election. She's now the official Democratic nominee in the race. Abrams ran for governor back in 2018. She lost to Kemp. She was unopposed in today's primary.